There are so many ways to do OCR, but which one is right for you? Let's go ahead and compare the different models. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So we'll be diving into the different models for OCR and comparing the differences, but a lot of my data and charts I'll be using is from this blog post from RoboFlow. So if you want to read more about the research, you can go ahead and check out that post. So why is optical character recognition so hard? So if we want to extract text from images, there's a lot of different domains that we're dealing with. So we'll be testing it out on all of these domains that you see here. But you can see that a lot of times, in the easiest case, the text might be very clear and easy to read. But then in the corner cases, you might get cases where you know the text is either skewed or the lighting is bad. So you have all of these real world conditions that make OCR very challenging. So it really depends on what application you're trying to go for, uh, the cost and uh, speed and all of that. So we'll be diving into all of these characteristics to see which method is best for your application. But first off, I'd like to test out a few of these models with this very challenging picture. So one reason why I like this image is that it's a very low lighting condition, which makes detecting uh, text in the image very difficult, especially, for example, if you're doing license plate recognition. So this could be a very corner case type of application. And we could see how this will perform in the different models. But here you can see that what we're doing is I'm going to go ahead and grab the data set from RoboFlow. They have a license plate recognition here. So it's very easy. Just go ahead, download the project, choose the format you want, and you'll have your pictures ready to go. So you can see here, when I test it out with the well-known Tesseract in Python, it actually detects nothing. So this is without any pre-processing. And you can see with easy OCR, it still struggles. It detects a JE here. But surprisingly, you see if I throw it into ChatGPT, we actually get it exactly correct. You see a WDJ-36L. And here you can see when I throw it into Claude, it also gets it correct, WDJ-36L. I think both of these last two LLM models, they struggle with the dot in the middle. But in terms of the numbers and characters, it got them correctly. Now let's first dive into the first and probably the most important metric is the accuracy. So here is a chart that shows the different models and the accuracy for the different ones. But you can see that these models here, like the Easy OCR and these LLM models, they have pretty high accuracy. You can see it's around like the uh, 80 range, so it's very good across all domains. You can see that the other ones, like DocTR, the Tesseract, and the other ones is much lower. So if you're looking for a high accuracy, I would recommend some of the LLM methods or easy OCR if that's what you're looking for. But of course, you want to really test it on the different domains that you're working with. So you can see this table here summarizes all of the accuracy across different domains. So you know if you're working with text that's easy to read, then you might uh, look at that to see how it does. But really, it comes down to the domain. So Choose the one that's best for you. But if you're looking more for like good for across all domains, then you can see that Claude is like a very good one. So here you can see now we're comparing speed for the different models. So if you want very fast speed, you want to choose everything but the Surya and then the Claude. But if you want to have uh, better accuracy, then you may want to go with the Claude, as we saw earlier. So it really depends on if you want to have like real time performance, and it depends on the frequency that you're running at. So if like a 20 second wait time doesn't really matter, then it doesn't really matter which model you choose. So you got to really find out how fast you actually need each one of these to run. And then from there, you could decide on which one you want. But you can see at least these, there's a lot of models here that's very fast that can run under like 2.5 seconds. So now let's take a look at the cost. So the cost really depends on how many times you're running your OCR model. So if you're only dealing with like a couple hundred, then yeah, cost is probably not going to matter. But you can imagine if you're running it in the millions, then yeah, every time you run it, it's probably going to matter. So you can see here that a lot of the LLM models have probably the highest cost. A lot of the other ones, they don't have much cost, so like easy OCR. Uh, the IDFX is probably one of the lowest LLM ones. So it depends on if cost is a concern for you. So go ahead and figure that out to see which one makes sense. So here I created a table summarizing all of the different OCR methods. So here I rank them by the accuracy, cost, speed, and whether or not you could run it locally. So 
Uh, here you can see that this is just an overall view of everything. So depending on which application you're running, you could choose which one makes sense for you. So here's my general recommendation. I would say Easy OCR is the most well-rounded, the decent accuracy with low cost, and you can run it locally. Uh, Claude is probably the most accurate, but also takes the longest. So if accuracy is what you're shooting for across different domains, go ahead and choose Claude. Uh, IDFX is one of the fastest and cheapest LLM option with very good accuracy, so it has a pretty nice balance between cost and accuracy. The Pi Tesseract, I would say, is okay for easy-to-read text, but with everything else, I wouldn't really recommend it. And if local is a requirement, then you probably want to consider things like Pi Tesseract, the Easy OCR, the Surya, or the Doc TR. Or you could, if you could figure out how to run a LLM locally, if you have the compute power, that's another option you can consider. Uh, so for LLMs, you have like Claude, Gemini, GPT-4, IDFX. Those are very good for accuracy if that's what you're shooting for. But of course, the con with that is the cost associated with it. All right, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.